Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orpert, awarded the AMS Seal of Approval by the American Meteorological Society. Well, thanks to our Facebook page and those of you who have a keen eye for beautiful pictures, uh, this is a frozen leaf totally covered in ice, and that comes from Michael Hawkins. Thank you, Michael, and uh, that really is a, a really pretty picture. The next picture we have is the sun coming through some iced trees. That comes from Michelle Seminot. I hope I said that correctly, uh, Michelle. And the next one is what looks like plants trying to bud covered in ice from Abigail Milner. Now, what I will say is that a lot of times plants set their buds early, uh, like in the fall. And so this is not unusual that we would see buds, but it's uh, kind of neat to see it through that. And so the wonders of nature, I think sometimes the most um, devastating natural events provide some of the most beautiful photographic opportunities. It seems like kind of a, a converse sort of a thing, but that's true. Now, there's nothing showing up on the Storm Team Fury. It will be a clear sky tonight, and because the moon is just a sliver of a crescent moon, the moon will set early, and that'll leave us a moon-free sky tonight so we can see a lot of these little diamond-studded stars that are out there. Just a, a beautiful night. We still have a flow of moisture coming up out of the south and headed toward the east coast. But right now in Terre Haute, it's 22. Mattoon has 17. Springfield, 14. It got cold last night. It's going to get cold again tonight, especially with a clear sky. Terre Haute has a uh, six mile per hour wind. Mattoon, three. Lafayette, six. Current temp in Terre Haute is 22. Vincennes has 25. Everybody is below freezing. And wind speeds are, are not so bad. Wind chill will not be a major factor tonight. It's not going to be as windy tonight as it was last night. Wind chill in Casey right now is 17 and Terre Haute 14. Now, here is the picture. We've got an area of low pressure down here in the Gulf, and that's going to start pumping in some moisture. That's why we're starting to already get a southerly breeze. And see that? Here's Friday, uh, tomorrow afternoon at noon, and see how these clouds rise up? So I'm putting in the forecast more clouds. And then by tomorrow night, as we get the backflow of this low, I think a little light snow could develop tomorrow night into the first part of the day on Saturday. And then we have another surge of colder air and an area of low pressure. And that will come along right about Super Bowl Sunday. And so we'll have to watch that for you as well. Once again, the storm team will be here as long as it takes to keep you the most informed audience 24 hours a day when these storms come in, even though they just bring a little snow. Three tonight, starry, cold, and then for tomorrow, 29, more clouds as the day goes on. Light snow developing tomorrow night, a low of 19, and the seven-day forecast, Saturday, 33, Sunday, 34, Monday, 34 degrees, a little above freezing, but some snow possible. The thing is, we might be able to chip away a little bit at uh, some of that ice because salt and those kinds of things will work when it's 34 degrees.